day. Oh, well, we can try and do that. If that's where you want to go. Hey guys, we're in the great city of New Orleans, Louisiana, and this is episode four of Going Places, the St. Louis Cathedral. of the St. Louis Cathedral, and they have this uh, room here, the Old Baptistry. In this room, Mother Henriette de Lille, a free woman of color, exercised her ministry to the enslaved, the poor, and the elderly. This is the right side of the lobby, and then right in here, you just have a single chandelier. This is the middle section of the lobby. And then over on the far end here, there's another entry point, and there's a gift shop. So much to look at, huh? There's so much. Mm. Arr, and right on the side of the cathedral, we be see Fratelli, the Piratelli. Oh, yo, ho, a pirate's life for me. I have no clue why this is called Pirate Alley. I guess I'm gonna have to find out and do a voiceover. Some claim that it was a haven for pirates in past days, while others claim that slaves were sold at the adjacent St. Anthony Garden. In reality, its official name was Orleans Alley until the mid-1960s when the city changed it to Pirate Alley. And what's at the end of Pirate Alley? The old Absinthe House. Tony Selville's Pirate Alley Cafe. Num, 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 num. And here's the back of the cathedral. Looks like they are renovating and landscaping for St. Anthony's Garden. And the alley on the other side of the St. Louis Cathedral is Tarantone Alley. You ready to go back to the hotel? Someone needs a nap. You ready to go to sleep? I can tell you are. It's very quiet. Hey guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Going Places. Please let me know down in the comments below where I should go next. And if you like this video, please click that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it.